Well, welcome to our Global Self-Awakening Workshop. I'm Zarathustra. We're broadcasting live from Los Angeles. Um, we covered a couple different areas last week, last weekend. Um, and there's, this is the con continuation of what we've been talking about. Um, on Saturday, I explained about free will doesn't exist. On Sunday, I talked about the world is an illusion. And uh, we're going to continue talking about that. So some of you do send me messages asking me questions uh, on the subjects that I've already covered them. Um, you're welcome to talk to me directly if you want. But some of the stuff are going to be redundant. So I would like you to watch the previous two videos. And if you still have a question, then I'll be happy to help you. So I'm going to talk about the benefits of not having free will. There are many, many benefits that when you realize you don't have any free will, in the beginning it's weird, but then as you start to recognize that, you realize that you're on cruise control and actually everything is provided and you don't need to worry about it. But before I get into this, let me explain one very special thing so you understand something. For those of you who are still struggling with the idea, with the reality of not really having a free will, because there is no individual entity separated from the source. There is nobody separated from life. So your will that seems to be free will is the will of existence. Existence is willing through you, is deciding, acting, speaking, making mistakes or appears to be making mistakes or gaining things. There's failure and there's victory. They're all happening through you. While you still have this sense that you're the one who's doing it, but you're not. Now, let's take a look at this. Let me explain one thing to you. For example, a car, an ordinary car, an average size car, let's say, is made out of 10,000 pieces. There's 10,000 different components that put together and make a car. Every time you sit in your car and you want to turn the switch on and drive, all of these 10,000 components in the car, they all have to have your thumbs up and say, yes, today I'm going to be working. So, for instance, you're going to turn this ignition switch on and the battery needs to work. So it needs to supply uh, electricity. The starter needs to work. The alternator needs to work. All the wires need to work. The engine needs to work. The fuel pump needs to work. Everything needs to work for the car to start. Then you start driving the car. You're driving your car and all these 10,000 components in a car, they all have to be in an agreement with each other that we're all gonna be working. The brakes working, the cables working, the wires working. So you're driving your car. So as you're driving your car, you're passing other cars. And the other cars that you're passing, they have to be working as well. And so all these other vehicles, all the parts in them must say, yes, I'm going to be working fine today. So this is not in your control. 
for those of you who think you manifest your own reality and you make your own reality, you how are you going to be affecting 10,000 pieces of in one car and other cars that they work in that day, in that moment when you're driving, they're all in agreement that they work in your favor so you don't crash into other cars. So let's say all these 10,000 pieces in the car are working and then we come to the driver. So you're the driver, you're driving the vehicle. And that moment when you're driving the vehicle, everything in your body needs to work fine too, perfectly. Your eyes are working, all your judgment, all the messages that are coming that you're driving, you're tail, tail ending one car. The car in front of you is gonna slow down and you need to slow down. So your body, your mind, your eyes, your neurotransmitters, everything is in agreement. Your digestion, your heart, everything is working perfectly. So you're capable of driving the car in that moment. So all the communication is happening in your body perfectly, otherwise, if you misjudge, there's a moment of misjudging that something's not really quite right, you can crash into another car and the results could be fatal. So your body is in complete agreement of, of cooperating 100%. Now, similarly, every other driver who's passing by you their bodies have to work in perf perfectly so they don't make a mistake. Their attention doesn't go somewhere else. Something physically doesn't happen to them and they don't crash into you. Are you in control of other human beings? Can you control them that everyone who's driving their car, are you manifesting that? that this is under your free will, that everybody else that you're passing, passing by, that moment, not, not even a day, in that moment, can you influence other drivers that they do exactly what they need to do in order for you not to crash in them and not have an accident? Are you in charge of them too? So think about that. The next thing is that all the stoplights that you're passing by, the stoplights must be working correctly. So your, your light needs to be green. And when you're passing through an intersection, somebody else's light has to be red. So you're not gonna run into and crash into each other. Are you in control of the stoplights? Are you controlling them? Are they a part of your free will? that the stoplights, the street stoplights, they're working perfectly when you're driving. Is that a part of your free will? Then, so let's say, assuming that all the stoplights are working correctly and there is no malfunctioning in their system, so there's no crashes, what about the weather? Does the weather need to be in compliance? What about you're driving from your home and you're planning to go to the airport? The airport is about 45 minutes away and you're driving to the airport and all of a sudden there's a very strong blizzard. A storm comes and a tree falls down and blocks the road. Are you in charge of that too? Does your free will influences the weather? The weather is, can you manipulate the weather? Because you have free will. 